I was recently asked uh, in the comments of one of my videos, hey, Walt, you always talk about maximum usable frequency and band conditions and solar activity. Where do you get this from? Where, what website do you go to? Well, guess what? This is that video. I'm going to give it to you. Give me my three sites that I go to regularly. These are the staples for me before I go out operating portable. And to be honest with you, I'm addicted to it. I look at it all day, every day, and check out what's going on with, uh, with propagation and band conditions. I'll show you what these sites are. Stick around. Of the things you hear me talking about a lot when I'm out operating portable is the MUF, M-U-F, or MUF 3000 KM, uh, the maximum usable frequency. And where do I get this from? Sometimes you even see, I'll take the map from this site and kind of superimpose it or show it in my videos. What this map is, this map is a basically someone bringing all the ionosons from around the globe together to put the, to make a map. Um, this is done by and, and funded by the Worldwide Radio Operators Foundation. So what is an ionoson and what is it doing? The ionoson, to make it just easy to understand, is kind of a radar, an HR, HF radar sent up to the ionosphere. And then what comes back down is the frequency that the ionosphere is refracting back down. What goes through it means that it's not there. And these readings throughout the globe make up this map. So with the Worldwide uh, Radio Operators Foundation put this together, this site is prop.kc2g.com. I'll put links to everything down below, but I use this all the time, especially like in the morning when I get out early. I like to operate 20 meters. I always look for that 14, you know, like right up and down the East Coast. I know a 20 is opening up. So for immediate band conditions, as far as what's open, that's it. You know, hey, I just looked yesterday and uh, there was a 30 like by me. I'm like, finally, the 10 meter band is open here as, as we're getting towards that time of year where 10 meters is open. So when I'm talking about maximum usable frequency or MUF, that's my go-to site. Long term, looking out like three days ahead, there's a great site uh, put together by a Canadian amateur, VE3EM, and that is solarham.com. And he's put together a lot of like NOAA, just different, different sites from all over to kind of put together a, a good understanding of solar weather because the sun affects, affects the ionosphere and what's going on. So this site, solarham.com, is wonderful for looking out ahead for, say, today and for the next couple of days, three days. I really take a good look at the three-day geomagnetic forecast all the time. I mean, this, I, this is a staple, and this thing even changes during the day. Uh, but then you go down and you click the detailed forecast, and where you really can see, you know, what's going on with solar activity and what to look forward to. You know, you can see sometimes if it's, you know, we got something bad coming at us, you know, right away, like, all right, um, time to like not waste a lot of effort to go all the way to the beach and set up and uh, and operate. So solarham.com. One more that I know, it's just a quick look, and I know a lot of you have seen this, is on QRZ, the QRZ page, is the, is the widget there. The widget's available from, I think it's hamqsl.com. It's always there, and it kind of gives a brief band by band of what's going on with each one of them. If you can't find this, this is always located on the front page, and it's right above that no YouTube article. What's up with that? <laughs> anyway, um, this is a good quick look. This, I, I don't think, is 100% accurate for everyone because this is kind of more of a, I know even if you look at the muff on that, that's Boulder, Colorado. So kind of hard. I mean, it's a good general look. I've found this to be somewhat accurate, but not all the time. I mean, if you really, to give an overall view of that one, that's a good one to look at on QRZ. But to do a deep dive for the immediate moment of where you're at and what's going on. Hey, the muff map is the way to go. Take a really good look at the muff map. And then to kind of project out there as well, take a really good look at at solarham.com. And I know a lot of you guys, getting back to ionosons, they're all over the uh, globe. This is really a benefit for all of us when measuring the ionosphere and, uh, you know, and what's going on with us. 
You've seen an Ayana sign go by you while you've been on, if you've got an SDR radio, it looks like this. And there you go. So that's, um, that's it. In a nutshell, that's where I get my information quick and easy before I go out. There's others out there. I'm sure there's a lot of people who are going to say you can't rely on it. Look, it's like the weather. It's they're basically predicting so, you know solar weather. Uh, even the weatherman says it's going to rain sometimes and sometimes it don't. So don't 100% rely on any of it. Get out there or if you're at home, call CQ and see what's going on with the bands. Sometimes the bands are not what uh, what you think they are. They really aren't. But I uh, really want to just get that out there because I got asked. I get to ask that question a lot. Like. How do you, you know, where do you get the maximum usable frequency? What sites do you go to? You know, what what do you use? That's it right there. That's the three that I generally look at all day, every day, and kind of make my mind up before I go out and operate and um and, and, and what I use. Hey, if you're into operating portal, if you're into HF ham radio, hey, if you just want to see me uh, go out on the beach and play radio, please like and subscribe. Till next time, I'm Salty Walt, K4OGO. Stay salty, my friends.